Hi, this is Scott Kilo, Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, also WRTI 407, since we're talking GMRS once again. And I'm back with another installment in the Ocean KG 935 Golf Operator series of videos. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today, and bear with me, I'm going to get to adding uh, memory channels and things like that, but there's, we're going to start getting into the meat and potatoes of the operation of the radio now. And before you get into adding memory channels, uh, you're going to need to address a couple of things related to scan. Now, the first thing we're going to do is a real simple one. We're going to set up our scan mode. The next video that will follow, we're going to talk a lot about scan groups. And learning about that now is going to save you a lot of frustration down the road because uh, when it comes to scan groups, there's some things you need to know about scan groups before you actually set up your memory channels or anything that you're going to add to the radio. But the first thing, of course, we want to set up is going to be our scan mode. Now, when we're talking about scan mode, of course, we can find the, uh, the option within the menu here. And we're going to go to item number 15. And 15 is going to allow us to set up our scan modes. Now, within that, we're going to have three different options. Um, it's going to start with TO, it's going to go to CO, and then SE. Now, let me explain what those basically are, and I'm back out of this so I can discuss that for just a second. Now, TO, um, what TO does is while you're in scan, when a channel when a when a channel breaks squelch, in other words, some radio traffic is coming in. The radio will stop on that channel, and what it will do is it'll pause there for five seconds, and then it will resume scan and move on. Um, I've never really understood the relevance of this particular mode. A lot of radios feature this mode, and I don't quite understand it, uh, because I, what I found, and, and by default, uh, in fact, this uh, I, I've had some radios that come set up like this, uh, not this radio, but others, and it was a little frustrating at first because I thought I was having trouble. I, I literally thought the signal was dropping out. I didn't realize that the radio was just stopping for a few seconds and then moving on. I couldn't understand why these uh, these transmissions were breaking up right in the middle of a conversation. So, um, and, and I've also found that if you want to if you want to stay there and listen to the rest of the conversation, you have to be really quick, get the radio in your hand within five seconds, and then disable that scan to stay there. So it's not a particularly useful mode. So I'm going to say when it comes to TO, nah, we're, we're going to we're going to say no to that one, or at least I do. Um, the next mode is going to be CO, which is carrier operation. So uh, TO, by the way, is time operation. Uh, CO is carrier operation. And what this does is, and this is the traditional scan method that most people are used to. As the radio is scanning, when a a memory channel breaks squelch and receive radio traffic incoming. It will stop scan on that channel and it'll stay there until the radio transmission ceases and the carrier is now open and then it'll move on or rather the, the, the frequency is open and then it'll just move on and continue the scan. Um, so, now there's an issue related to that that I'll cover later in a separate video but that's the most useful in terms of the scan mode. So again Channel breaks squelch, it stops on that channel, you hear the entire conversation. When the conversation is done, it resumes scan and continues on. That, again, is going to be the most useful. The third mode is SE, and this is the default mode that this radio is going to come with. Now, in this case, what will happen is during scan, the radio, when a, a memory channel breaks squelch and you have incoming traffic, the radio will stop on that channel and it will stop scanning at that point. So this is more of a, and because it doesn't use the naming convention SO, it uh, uses SE instead, this is, you could consider this to be a search function. Um, similar to what we used to have on our old car stereos. You could just go to the next available channel and just keep pressing that search function. Uh, and you could do that with this. Uh, you could jet from, and you'd have to be actively involved in continuing to press the scan button. But okay, it's better than TO. But as I said, the preferred mode for you is probably going to be CO. So let's talk real quick about how to set that up. So again, we go to menu, we go to item number 15, which is scan mode. We press menu again, and we have our three different options, TO, CO, and SE. I'm going to select CO, press menu again, and hit exit. Now from there, um, everything's all set up for scanning. 
The next video, as I mentioned earlier, is going to cover scan groups. And like I said, there's some things you need to know about scan groups before you start to set up your actual memory channels within the radio. Uh, it has to do with organization and which memory slots you choose for which particular channel or rather frequency that you're allocating to a memory channel. So uh, that'll be the next video in the series. With that, I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visay, California. Have a wonderful day.